in the name of Allah, the entirely merciful, the especially merciful. Today, inshallah, we're going to discuss a new lesson from Mega Gold 6 with me and teacher Sami. Let's begin. Our lesson today, inshallah, is from expansion 46. We should discuss uh, the writing at the end of the expansion for our lesson. Okay, at first, on yesterday, we discussed the passage or uh, we discussed uh, the writing prompt and uh, we know how to using uh, the, uh, the article there with the, our writing passage. Today, inshallah, we will make deep uh, discussing about it and we will apply to throw examples they give it in your people's book. At first, this is some uh, narrows or heat that developing your writing or helping you to develop your writing. Writing an effective conclusion. As, it, as what I said uh, on the previous lesson that our essay it should have three parts. The first one is introduction and the second part have three paragraphs uh, in uh, uh, academic or uh, in general they have one part we calling it uh, the body and the last one and important one is the conclusion. Today, inshallah, we're going to discuss how we make it an effective, how we uh, still keep the, uh, the reader for your essay uh, still exciting about what do you want to say at the end of your essay. Okay, developing your writing, writing effective co uh, conclusions. An effective conclusions, as a definition of it, usually refers back to the topic sentence in the essay's introduction. So at first of our conclusion, we will begin by some information. We will take it from intro introduction of our essay and put it inside our conclusion. Gives an essay a sense of compliments and gives the reader something to think about it. So they want to you from uh, your essay, you should make a sense uh, for your readers. And after that, you should apply some uh, things that uh, keep your reader uh, uh, exciting about what you uh, write. It is common to uh, conclude an essay with one or more of the following techniques. What is the techniques we should apply it in our effective conclusion? It helps you to uh, make an effective conclusion, uh, make it e easy, clear for your uh, reader. So number one, asking the reader a thought provoking a question. What they mean by provoking a question? Uh, okay, uh, provoking a question, which means that uh, annoying, irritating, vexious, me, uh, maddening and vexing and so on. There is a lot of synonyms that be according to provo uh, provoking a question. Uh, number two, using a quotation. As what I said before, that a quotation is uh, very important to uh, uh, make your uh, uh, effective conclusion uh, with the scenes and uh, don't forget to put the uh, quotes mark uh, between or uh, the quotation which you're using uh, from research or research in your essay. Number three, calling for some kind of action. So you should put some kind of action, you should mention, you should as example and so on. And evoking an image. What do you think evoking is? So evoking is resonating, expressive, and suggestive, and elusive, uh, sorry, uh, elusive. So uh, res resonating and ex uh, expressive, suggestive is equal for the evoking in your image, uh, an image in your essay. Echoing an image or idea from the introduction. What they means by echoing an image or idea from the introduction. So, which means that uh, resounding or repeating or pumping or loud or an uh, imitation your image from your introduction. I hopeful that it's uh, an easy to you and uh, make it a sense for you what is the meaning of uh, effective conclusion and uh, what is the meaning of provoking a question, evoking and uh, echoing an image from your essay. Okay, on next slide, what we have, now we will talk about the essay at the whole, at the general. What does an essay mean? So essay, which means that, is a group of paragraphs written about a single topic and a central main idea. So it have a, a central main idea with it. 
or inside it. It must have at least three paragraphs. So at what we uh, talking before, the first one is introduction and the second body and the last one is conclusion. But a five paragraphs is say is a common length for academic writing. So if you would like to write by academic way, you should make it or paraphrase your essay uh, through five paragraphs. The first one is introduction and the last one is conclusion. And the third at the middle is, at uh, the third in the middle is uh, a body for uh, our essay. Okay, what, what we have on the next slide or what we'll discuss, inshallah. Okay. I should give you some uh, equal meaning or some equal words that uh, give it the same meaning for essay and uh, antonyms for the essay word. So essay it's equal to try, attempt, seek, paper, test, trial, composition, effort, article, and essay. All of these synonyms it can be uh, comes an essay meaning. So what is that? Antonyms for the essay word. So the antonyms for essay is forget, illness, pass, laziness, entertainment, fun, pastime, peace, lace, and idle. So all of these uh, antonyms, uh, it's uh, the opposite of essay word. Okay, now we will transfer for the next slide. What we have here, we have part of an essay. What do you think parts of an essay is, or are, sorry, at what we discussed before, we have three main parts and we talked about it already. Okay, the first part is introduction. How can we analyze the introduction? How we can make a definition, the good sentence for it? We can say that this uh, includes your thesis statement. This is the meaningful for our introduction. So if you uh, begin your essay, you should fit your thesis through your introduction when you want to write your introduction. Number two, body. What do you think body is? Or what is the suitable meaning for, for it? So three supporting paragraphs if you would like to uh, write by academic way. But in general, uh, one for body part is suitable. And the last things and important, we will focus on this conclusion because it's our lesson today. Wrapping it up, restarting your opinion. What they mean by restarting your opinion, which means that you should summarize your idea that, should, that uh, uh, already mentioned in your uh, introduction and in your body. So make it by uh, sentences and uh, summarizing it in a meaningful sentence through your uh, conclusion. Okay, now we will transfer for an example. We will apply that point which we discussed before and what is the kind and we will define uh, through this example. Look at the examples. It's from your uh, pupil's book on page 110. What do you think is it? Ask yourself. So, when I saw that passage, I think it's a conclusion for something. How can I know that? How can I know? Because it begins by something, by techniques, by strategies. We will see it on the next slide. At first, let's go and discuss what we have. It seems there is much we may never know about Stonehenge. So, for all the years that scientists have studied this, Perhistoric moments. Okay. So look at that. What what he talking about? He look. He talk about that uh, area in uh, Europe. The name of it is uh, Stonehenge, which means that make a confusion for the science to uh, analyzing how the people in that time building this stone uh, town. Okay. What's the next step? We do not know whether it was used as a scientific observatory, as a place where people we buried, or as a place to which people came from ancient ceremonies. So however, one thing is clear, they give it an example here. 
Stonehenge reveals the amazing mathematical uh, sophistication, sophistication and the engineering knowledge of its builders. How did these builders have such a complex mathematical understanding thousands of years before the Egyptian arrived at the uh, principles of modern mathematics? And this is perhaps the greatest mystery of Stonehenge and will be uh, speculated about uh, for many years to come. And at the end, they, uh, the mystery of the Stonehenge, which means that this analyze or this uh, quote take from the conclusion according to the title. Okay, at first, when we want to see uh, this conclusion, he fit something inside it. So he fit one thing is clear. They give it an example for that amazing mathematical in his uh, essay. And what he is also did, he give a definition for it, engineering knowledge for its builders. And how the writer make his uh, or uh, her readers still exciting about what we have in his conclusion. That is our uh, focus on uh, our conclusion that what we can get effective uh, conclusion. He add or fit some uh, a good or uh, a good sentence about what he write or know to uh, analyze this. After that, he ask the reader a question and he give him a long term to think about it. He ask him, uh, what do you think about that one? So he let the answer is open for the reader. By this way, you can keep your reader think and think until the end and uh, still exciting about your uh, effective essay. So this is perhaps the greatest mystery of Stonehenge and will be speculated about of many years to come. Okay, according to this uh, effective conclusion in your pupil's book, let me discuss the strategies that help you to apply help you to uh, make an effective conclusion in your uh, uh, essay or in your writing essay. Okay, that's what we want to talk about, that we, we want to uh, focus about the things. What are strategies for an effective conclusion? There is some techniques we should follow it when you want to make it an effective, not a normal uh, conclusion, an effective one. Let we see or discuss what that uh, strategies. Number one, Okay, play the so what game. What they mean by so what game? If you fit your introduction, uh, sorry, uh, your effective conclusion by so what, which means that you leave uh, or you uh, make a, a big uh, long term for your reader to ask himself about what the writer want to say or what the writer want to fit inside uh, the effective conclusion. Number two, ponder that question and answer it. So you fit the question, it's a game. And so what, complete that question. What do you want to do at the uh, second step of it, you should ponder that question. You should give what is the best of the, uh, the question and what is the good one or what is the uh, things that you, you, you see it's a better for the writer to think about it, to keep it in his mind. So ponder that question and answer it. Don't forget to answer that question when you began, uh, when you began that game. Okay, what is the third step for our strategies when we want to write an effective conclusion? It is make a suggestion. At first, we apply the game. Then we ponder that question and answer it. The third one, we make a suggestion. Make a suggestion, which means that uh, leave your reader sharing your uh, effective conclusion. Give him a long term. Give him uh, to apply some advice to uh, make independent research, to uh, make a lot of things and exactly what we want to say, make a challenge with your reader. And the fourth step, 
or the fourth strategies for our lesson today is uh, look to the future. What they mean by look the future? If I want to talk about uh, effective conclusion, which means that I, I should close my essay. Okay, miss, what they mean by look th to the future? Which means that look from your brain, look from your opinion. What is the long term for this advice you give it to your reader? To your, uh, to your opinion in the future and so on. So let, uh, make, uh, or let us make a space for the reader to sharing us, to suggest, to give an example, to advise, to think until in the future time. Okay, by the end of this question, we notice that we have uh, four strategies is uh, suitable for make an effective, clo uh, sorry, effective conclusion for our lesson. At first, we, we talk about how we apply that uh, question. So what? It's uh, we fitting uh, through our conclusion. The second one, when we put the uh, game, we should ending by answering it. The third one, uh, let a space for your reader to put the advice, to give an example, to uh, build another or make another research and so on. And the fourth one, as the last one, you should close your conclusion by uh, looking from the future, from your own, from your opinion, from your, your or summarizing the ideas and so on. Okay, by the end of our lesson today, I want to remind you about the important points that we discussed in our lesson is, number one, we talk about the uh, meaning of essay, and number two, we talk about the parts of our essay. And number three, we talk or uh, we discuss what is the meaning of effective essay. And we give uh, strategies, we give uh, synonyms of it, and we give uh, antonyms for some uh, uh, synonyms of our lesson. And the last thing is that if we want an effective essay, we should apply strategies to make it an academy uh, uh, pa passage or uh, academy essay. And by the end of our lesson, I would like to thank you for the good follow-up and I hope to see you again. Thank you so much.